Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. I'm going to attempt to do Vlogmas, um, but I'm only going to post two and max three times a week. So Fridays and Mondays, there should be an upload there and occasionally maybe like a Wednesday or something like that if I'm able to get a third video out for the week. Today I wanted to kickstart it by talking all about my Indonesian blue tongue skink and I'm going to bring you guys along for what I'm feeding her this whole week. Stella usually eats on a every other to every few day basis. I feed her smaller amounts of food um, more often, whereas some people feed their blue tongue skink once or twice a week with a pretty large meal, but I noticed that Stella likes a smaller meal a little bit more often. Blue tongue skinks eat a huge variety of meats, vegetables, fruits, and supplements, so I try my best to include that. And keep in mind, this is just one week. I vary her dog food she's given as well as some of her meats. This is just what she got this week. I vary veggies and everything like that on different weeks. So with everything being said, we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna bring you along for the next week and what she's gonna eat. Quick disclaimer, if you see me chopping a lot of extra veggies or a lot of just extra greens or fruit, but it doesn't necessarily go in Stella's dish or you just see extra dishes on the side, that is because I have a foster bearded dragon right now and my bearded dragon Zeus's salads that I also make alongside of it just so they all get cut and one thing since they usually get similar things that day, especially for vegetables. The first thing I do is clean out their dishes from the previous time and I fully wash them once a week. So I just clean out any old food or anything like that and then I begin preparing their food. So I cut their vegetables, I cut any fruit, and I also prepare their meat out here. Um, sometimes I'll run their greens under the sink so they get a little bit more water in them especially since they all have heat lamps in their enclosures so sometimes the food can dry out a little bit before the animal gets to it so I try to make sure that they're definitely very moist and <laughs> very yummy to eat so um, that's what I'm doing here and I'm just preparing it and chopping it finely into the dishes Today, Stella's meal is consisting of some lean ground beef alongside cucumber, some yellow squash mealworms, and some vitamins with D3. Um, I add the vitamins and the insects last once I get back in my pet room, but for now I'm just chopping the vegetation as well as her meat source. As you'll see in following meals, I really try to vary their um, vitamins and their supplementation they get every time I feed and sometimes I give no supplementation. So here I'm adding some, I think I added vitamins this day, um, actually instead of calcium and then um, I'm going to add some mealworms to her food as well for a little extra protein even though she's kind of picky about insects. Day two, Stella is getting high quality turkey dog food with some collard greens, some blueberries, and some D3 calcium, and a little bit of cucumber. Also to anyone with a picky blue tongue skink, I know your pain and I really recommend the Zignature or the raw brand I believe it's called. Um, Stella really likes those dog foods and they've worked really well to get her to eat.
So for day three, I started by cutting up some collard greens and then today she's getting her high quality turkey dog food again alongside some red bell pepper, some blackberries, a hornworm, and then some bluey buffet. I've actually never heard of anyone else watering down blue buffet, but my skink absolutely loves it and so does my bearded dragon. And especially if you have picky animals, I really recommend trying it. They really enjoy it and it's a fun treat. I also want to mention if you do have a blue tongue skink, please add a ton of variety to their diet, especially if you're having trouble with your skink being picky. Ever since I started feeding a huge variety and assortment of different types of foods for Stella, she has been so much more interested in eating every time I feed her, and she's just become so much healthier because she has such a big variety. Her scales just look better, she looks all around healthier, and she just seems a lot happier. So I really recommend looking into a bunch of different stuff and just trying like every option you can for your skink and just being super open to trying new things. Today is the last meal I'm going to be filming, so I started off by chopping my collard greens. I switch my greens every single week, but this week was obviously collard greens since it was included in every meal. Then I went ahead and cut some yellow squash up, and I chopped that very finely. I'm in no way, shape, or form a chef. I've cut my finger multiple times chopping stuff, but I like to chop and dice their vegetables as well as I can. And today I gave her some canned chicken actually. Um, I've never given this before and there was a really small piece of plastic in it. I took it out before I gave her, her food to her. I noticed that um, when I was adding the calcium. And then she got some calcium today with no D3 and she was really in love with her chicken. Before I even grabbed my camera, she ate the majority of it. So um, I didn't catch much of her eating, which kind of stinks, but she absolutely loved it. And I've never given it to her before, but she, was very, very pleased, so I'm very happy about that. Thank you guys for coming along for the past week of what I've fed my skink. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and there's so many different ways to um, give a diet to your skink. Some people are completely all about raw, some people feed only dog food for the meat substance, and some people like me are kind of a mix, and everyone has different opinions. So if you want to mention something in the comments, please be nice about it. Um, and I'm open to learning new things and even for other people go ahead and comment something that is maybe interesting about your skink or the knowledge that you have on blue tongue skinks and their diets. Uh, I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Stay awesome. Bye guys.